All right, I'm at my parents' house. Haven't been over here for a video in a while. I've been over here, but I haven't done a video here in a while. Dad said he wants to dethatch the backyard. So I said, okay. Brought the Sunjo dethatcher over. So they just moved into the house three years ago, inherited the lawn. Nothing's been really done. It's never been dethatched, probably ever. And so when he said he wants to dethatch the backyard, I want to see how much stuff we pull out of here. So, here we go. So we're just gonna tackle the main area back here, which is probably around 6,000 square feet. And then we'll probably do the area on this other side over here, but the area behind me by the shed is where the dog pees and there's Bermuda grass invading over there. We're not even gonna worry about that. But we're gonna do the backyard main area here. And as you can see, there's he's mowed it lower today. And that's good because that will help us and give us an advantage here. But getting down in here, you can see there's just tons and tons of junk in here that needs to go. I don't even think I'm hitting soil yet. I gotta dig really hard to find soil. And that's a really good indicator to know whether or not you need to do this. Now the best time to do this is anytime your grass is actively growing. You don't want to do this in the middle of summer. You don't want to do this right before you go into winter when things are starting to go into dormancy. You want to do this middle spring, middle fall. Great time to do it. Grass is actively growing. It's going to recover faster and it's going to feel a lot better when you walk on it. So two of the bigger problem spots are in the middle back area and then up towards the front behind me here. And I'll give you a better shot here, but you can tell that these are localized um, dry spots. They're kind of stressing out a little bit. And the big reason for that is because the material that's just left in the grass that is basically just choking this out. And it needs some room to breathe and we'll be able to get air and water and nutrients down to the root system a lot easier by dethatching. By the way, when you inherit a lawn, you also inherit a sprinkler system. And as you can see, this is what he's inherited. And this is in a couple of spots around the backyard. Two different sprinkler heads that both work and they're on two different zones. Nice. Now you've seen in my videos before, overview of how this works. I've opted to go with the scarifier attachment today, um, mainly because this has never been done before and there's a lot of material that's down there. And since we're in the middle of spring, we're not getting too hot yet. I feel like we can be a little more aggressive and I'm really just curious to see how much material we pull out. So we're gonna go um, full aggression here and see what we can do. One pass in this small section is pretty revealing. I did have it all the way down. I said I was gonna be aggressive. And I went all the way down. So look at this, look at this material that was pulled out here. It's just nuts. It's it's crazy. We're gonna make a big pile so you can see at the end of the video how much came out of this whole yard. Um, but as you can see, there's there's a little bit of green in there, but maybe like 2% compared to everything else that's coming out of here. You don't want to be in the video? Huh? You don't want to be in it? I'll be in the background. <laughs> Where's my beer? He wants to be in the background holding his beer. Make it look like he worked really hard because he earned the beer. That's because I did. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How big are those bags? 40 gallons? No, they're uh, 
55 or 60 gallon bag. 55 or 60 gallon bags, there's seven of them full. Holy smokes, that was a lot of material. And that was one pass. You could easily go over it again in the opposite direction if you want to. I don't think we have time tonight. It looks like a storm's coming in and we might get some rain. But hey, all of that is now out and the lawn can breathe a little bit easier now. So now, after you get that done, it's a really good time to fertilize, get some uh, nutrients into the soil. Uh, it's, it's got easier access now, that's for sure. And water, of course, will have easier access down into the soil and into the root system as well. So we're gonna go ahead and load these up into the truck, call it a day. That's gonna go ahead and do it for me. Link to the Sunjo in the description if you wanna check it out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.